Hi, Kelsey. How are hey, you? Hey, what's going on? Hi. I just wanted to touch base after our trip in September. And I wanted you to talk about how, obviously, this was your first time on your own to a country that is non-English speaking. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that whole process and how that felt for you. Um. So, well, we met through mm -hmm. our local chamber and I was super excited and the way that you promoted you know, everything, it just sounded super luxurious. I've only been to London. And so um, I'm 34, I've got nothing tying me down and I really wanted to do a fun trip and I just thought it would be really cool. And so what I was excited about is that I'm a nervous Nelly when it comes to planning. And so I felt that it was gonna be exciting that like you were taking that over for me. So, and like, since I don't know, Italy and traveling alone. Um, I just thought it was going to be exciting to not only meet some new people, but mm -hmm. also get to experience it and something that you're very well versed in and you know all about. So, yeah. So, and leaning on the fact that you didn't know anybody because nobody knew anybody on this trip. Yeah. How was, how was that feeling like going into coming up to the month before the trip? Cause we did um, have a call, but like, how did you feel about that? Like going to live oh. in a house? Yeah, it was really nice meeting everyone before. It was cool that you got us all on a conference call together. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you still don't know people until you get there. And so yeah. this was my first experience ever staying at a place. I didn't even go to college. I didn't go away to college and meet yeah. new people. Like, I just went to school, but not, like, stayed there with um, uh, random people. Yeah. So I was a little nervous, but I am a talker and I, I get along with mostly everybody. So I figured I would be okay, but it was actually fine. And we, I shared a bathroom with mm -hmm. one of the other girls and we were totally cool with that. And we laughed about some inside stuff with, with sharing the bathroom, um, <laughs> but it was exciting. I, it didn't feel awkward at all. And everyone got along and we all had our moments to where we could go by ourselves. We could do our own thing. And then yeah. we all had the ability to come together and be a family while we were there. So it was cool. Yeah. That's less awesome. scary once you got there. Yeah. Yeah. Is there, um, after now it's been a month and a half or two months almost, how do you feel how, like what's resonating with you still from the trip? So how peaceful it was mm -hmm. and how quiet like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I It's a weird quiet. I can't explain. You got to go to mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about. But I've never experienced anything like that. Um, the amount of just how happy the individuals were that we were there and experiencing what they were providing with us. Mm -hmm. um, the rolling hills. You know, I like looked it up a little bit before we went, but I had no clue any of that. Um, and just like how nice the food and the wine were like i like i had a nice buzz here and there and we always laughed and everything was great i never had a hangover which was awesome um yeah. maybe i didn't drink enough no <laughs> um but i just i don't know it was it was such a relaxing trip and it was just it felt like just i came back feeling like stress relief it was really nice that's awesome um and uh what was your favorite thing out of all the things that we did? If you can pick 10.1. My favorite thing was definitely making food um, and getting to try making pasta mm -hmm. and like that whole, like just the, 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 the roadway, his house. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. What John Luca. Was John Luca. Yeah. He was such a sweetheart and like, yeah. That was really cool. That was really interesting. I don't like pesto. So like I, I love his pesto was phenomenal. Like yeah. literally I think about it on a day to day uh -huh. basis. Um, uh -huh. But that was probably my that and um, that was and that and meeting the guy who played the harmonica for me. Oh, yeah, that was, that was cool. So <laughs> that was not somebody I hired, though. Somebody she met in the street. Yes. Yeah. I met <laughs> awesome. guy. This guy was playing the harmonica in yeah. the street. I walked up to him and asked him to play a song for me. He knew I was an American, so he played me New York, New York. I thought it was, was cool. awesome. That was awesome. Um, and then going back to the fact of like you've never traveled alone, like what are some, what are some, what were some of your fears leading up to that? You talked a little bit about that, but how did you, how did the process of going through an international airport that where you don't always see English, like how did that, for people that maybe are traveling alone, how, yeah. how did you uh, work with that? I was, Definitely worried a little bit 
the language barrier freaked me out. Um, mm -hmm. Also, too, the travel was early and late. Um, yeah. I just don't, planes to me scare me a little bit in just general, but I was ple pleasantly surprised about the plane ride there. I did not know you got free wine the entire trip, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, I didn't sleep very well on the way there, but that didn't affect me too much. I slept like a baby on the way back. Uh, yeah. You know, it was more nerve wracking the connection flight piece, mm -hmm. but it was great that actually when I got in, you were already up mm -hmm. and I could ask a few questions yeah. that I wasn't sure about. Like, yeah. um, because my flight, uh, was so far out in advance, my information wasn't on the kiosk yet. Yeah. So I was freaking out thinking I didn't know where my flight was. And you were like, no, you're good. Just, mm -hmm. you know, and look yeah. for Frenzia, not France. And, oh yeah, little, exactly. you know, just little exactly. things like that. And, um, yeah. outside of that, that was slowly the, the the scary part uh, was yeah. just, I think, the initial jump of doing it. But uh -huh. um, you informed me of pretty much how it was all going to run down. Like once you yeah. get to the airport, you're going to get on this tram. The tram's going to take you to the plane and uh -huh. little things like that were really helpful. And as it was happening, I felt yeah. much more comfortable as yeah. I continued on the travel because it was word for word exactly what awesome. you told me. That's awesome. And then lastly, why would you recommend this trip or anybody to travel with Truly Italy in the future? So it was amazing not only watching you be able to communicate with everyone. Mm -hmm. I have never gone on a trip where I felt like I didn't plan anything. And I actually went in this winging it and you you had everything covered. I mean, mm -hmm when we something happened it rained and we had to pivot like you knew exactly what to do and like those are things i think for us that's for me anyway that's never been there i wouldn't have known what to do i wouldn't have known what to google search i wouldn't have known um having you drive us around your husband was a phenomenal aspect to this because mm -hmm. he was our travel and i mean it was the roads are crazy i would never i would never drive there by myself so mm -hmm. having that was awesome and it just was really nice to not have to stress about the details because mm -hmm. you had that covered. I never yeah. once worried that I wasn't going to eat enough or that we ate a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah. I never stressed about having anything. And so yeah. like co the comfort level was perfect for me in the uh -huh. fact that I, I just, it, it took all of my worry away and I, I could go back with you a million times over and feel like it would be an amazing trip just for the fact that I don't have to stress about any of the planning piece. You took uh -huh. care of it. That's and awesome. And I don't know. I don't think, I think people take that for granted in a little way because yeah. they want to do things their own way. And we still did. And mm -hmm. we explored parts of Italy that were not your everyone talk about, everybody mm -hmm. see, everybody do. And like, but still being able to see, do all the other cool things that are really nostalgic about Italy. And so yeah. it was just cool. I, I, I had a phenomenal time and it was just yeah. so stress-free. I wish I was back there. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey, so much for this. I hope to see you on another trip. Yes. I can't wait. I'm hoping May. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.